Hey everyone, this is David Brown, and today I want to talk about identifying juvenile red-tailed hawks. Remember that red-tailed hawks are in the Buteo genus. The other Buteos that we could have in the east are the broad-winged hawk, the red-shouldered hawk, the rough-legged hawk, and occasionally the Swainson's hawk. So if you see a bird that's shaped like a Buteo, those are the ones you're going to have to choose between. When looking at red-tailed hawks, First, look at the shoulder area. Red-tailed hawks are, are only buteos that have dark patagial bars. That's diagnostic. Both adults and juveniles have them. Take a look at the wingtips. It's a somewhat rounded wingtip. One, two, three, four, five feathers, similar to what we saw on the red-shouldered hawk. Remember, the broad-winged hawk had typically four feathers making up the wingtip, giving it a more pointed look. Red-tails and red-shoulders have more rounded wingtips. And note here that there's the prominent belly band. And that's quite variable from bird to bird. Some have a very heavy one, some hardly have any belly band at all. But typically, uh, you think of red-tailed hawks as having a belly band like this. So how can we tell that this is a juvenile and not an adult? And first of all, juvenile means the bird is in its first plumage. So red-tailed hawks are juveniles for the first year, and then after that, they're adults. So this photo was taken in August. This is a bird that would have been born that summer. So the first one we want to look at is the trailing edge of the wing. Adult red tails have a very bold trailing edge to the wing, a black line. Juveniles don't have that. If you look at the tail, rather than being red, it's more of a brownish color with, with light brown banding on it. And another thing, and we'll take a look at a couple other photos so you can see this a little bit better, but the inner primaries, so this area in here, especially from a distance on juvenile red-tailed hawks, you see a pale window. Those feathers are more translucent than the surrounding ones. So you get sort of a, a square where the light is passing through. If we take a look at another bird, Again, we notice the same traits, dark patagial bars, rounded wingtips, belly band. And we can tell it's a juvenile again, no dark trailing edge to the wing, and that tail with brown banding. And again, translucent inner primaries. Again, same features on this bird, dark patagials, rounded wingtip, belly band, no dark trailing edge, and the same tail pattern. Again, just another individual. Here's a more heavily marked individual. The belly band continues down on the lower belly, but again, we're seeing the same field marks otherwise. Here's a juvenile that's perched. Again, we can see that the tail has a thin banding. Let me go up here to the top side view of a juvenile red tail. Here we can see quite well that those inner primary feathers are lighter than the surrounding feathers, and that's why you get more light passing through them. And again, it's, it's more apparent from a distance. So when you may not be able to see other plumage traits, uh, you can see that from quite far away to identify a red tail as a juvenile rather than an adult. And again, on the tail, you can quite distinctly see that thin brown banding. So this has been a quick video on how to identify juvenile red-tailed hawks. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this and want to get more information please subscribe. Okay thanks everyone. Bye.